Good morning and welcome to the Ibiza vlog. So, hello, I am Misha Grimes and currently I'm at Birmingham New Street going to Birmingham International with my Starbucks off to Ibiza. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm actually going with my best friend Chloe who um, is on the same train as me, just like five carriages up because she came from Scotland and we didn't realise we were going on the same train and I'm not travelling. Five carriages with suitcases, so let's get on holiday. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I think she's more excited than I am. <gasps> so, I've already introduced the vlog, but yes, I'm off to Ibiza and this one's just driving me to the train station. Yeah, and trying not she, to cry. She's still got her headband on because, yep. you know, she's I've just cool got like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I am dressed. I've not got any makeup on yet, but that will be going on shortly. I'm about to jump on the train to Birmingham International. To meet Chloe! Yeah, and then fly to Ibiza. Mm -hmm. Oh, she probably just messaged me, so mm -hmm. doodly. My train's here. Let's go. My phone! Wait, I need to get my voice suit chosen. No, I am videoing you. Why have you got your phone in your pocket and we're wearing we're wearing matching leggings? And this is really hard to do. <laughs> and we are checked in and going, what's it called? Not to put the bit security. That's the badger. <laughs> Let's go to security. <laughs> Mine's pretty light. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's in yours? Shoes. All my shoes. Oh, see, my mine are in my suitcase. <laughs> There's different people in this world. She's got to reach into a few sandwiches. I've got bars. We're cool. <laughs> So we are just at Pret a Manger. Mm -hmm. I picked up a avocado little mini bowl. That's not all I'm eating, by the way. I've also got a massive salad. But I'm gonna wait to eat it on the plane, or by the time we get to our visa, I'm gonna be so hungry. Also, people are really staring at coffee because Chloe's gone to check the gate and I'm just talking to the camera. Yolo! Oh, the queue's going! <laughs> I just fell over. Are you I don't it? know. Is it red and flashing saying record? Oh, yeah! I was just trying to get an Instagram well, picture. I can't believe I just followed, but I genuinely I sat down on my suitcase to get an Instagram picture and I fell flat on the floor and everyone turned around and stared at me. It was really funny. Let's go. We've been here five seconds and I left my bag at the airport. Oh, she's an idiot. Yes, yeah, so they have to go back and get it, but they've got it, so it's fine. It has my passport, my boarding pass, everything. I've got my but our friendly on board together policy. We made We've it. Created it and all the electronic equipment must be switched off until the seatbelt sign is no longer illuminated. Thanks for listening. Oh, and we'd like to take this opportunity. Mum, are you happy with Chloe? <laughs> you don't want it in my hand. And we're off. We have arrived! And Chloe's already falling over. We are actually completely matching. We've both got on black jumpers, grey leggings and pink suitcases. We didn't plan this, I promise. So, we arrived Ooh. about 45 minutes ago. We go to the hotel transfers place and after about 20 minutes of this woman on the phone speaking in Spanish, she's like, oh yeah, you cancelled your transfer on the 25th of July. I'm like, no, we didn't. So we ring the people that we booked the holiday with and we have to leave a voicemail with our records. So now we're in a taxi on the way to the hotel, but mate, they are refunding us the money for this and the money for the transfer. Idiots. We have arrived. I'm obviously not going to get you in. Look at this vile place. <laughs> No, it's actually not that bad. It's just a bit wooden and a bit blue. The toilet's nice, like the toilet, fab, mirror, yeah. And then we've got all of our suitcases. We've got our beds. <laughs> then we've got a creepy little desk. We can cook dinner and have a romantic one for two. We've got a massive telly. We've got a massive sofa for when we hate each other. But our balcony is humongous. And look at this. So yeah, it's... It's got a really nice outside and there's like this little veranda bit here where you can sit out and like watch the sunset. It's so cute! 
but yeah we are now just gonna get in some like casual clothes um, and then go and get like some water and stuff like that just so we're set and then we're gonna go out for some dinner Ooh. now I'll come down by the pool to have a little nose Yay. I feel like that's our room is it not yeah it is it's that one there <laughs> you look so brown. I really like the fake grass. It's really convincing me that it's real. Why is there fake grass when the Yeah, I know. Sunset, how cute! Oh my god. This hotel is an ideal location. What I was going to say, that was We've just found this little supermarket. Not gonna lie, I want to eat all the Oreos. Toblerone? Yes, surely. Also, they have, um, I'm not endless bread, what is that? Crumbless? What bread is this again? It's not endless, it's crustless bread. Surely the edge will be so dry. Those look like such a strange brand. Yeah, but there's salt and vinegar. Let's go. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Oh, did you not hit her? Wait, we to put the electricity in. Oh. Good morning. I think my alarm is going off. Let's stop that. So, excuse my attractive look. Do we like my little head mask thingy from Forever 21? But good morning. So I didn't take my camera out last night because um, we're like in San Antonio area and I didn't want to get nabbed so yes we are now here on day two we are about to head off to breakfast so yeah let's we're not going to go with makeup on because that is effort um let's go also you know how we were so excited for the skinny kitchen <laughs> it's this really cool restaurant here in san antonio yeah we walked there with google maps and we're walking around we're like why can't we see it why can't we see it it was closed so yeah we then went to this other place called like what is it called? B Bondi. Bondi. And I had this salad. I'll try and include a picture here. Genuinely, it was the size of like that. I was like, no, thank you. So I was like, can I have some potato fries as well, please? Because that was tiny. And I was like, I am starving. Give me more food. But yeah, let's go off to breakfast. Chloe's just jumped in the shower. And this is my outfit for breakfast. It's this little, it's actually a bikini top from Cupshe and then these shorts are from Topshop and they are life because they are yellow and they are gingham. Let's go and get some food. I'm not quite sure why this is the I'd healthy like corner. Some muffins and take them up to the room. Because <laughs> it's the healthy corner because it's got no gluten. <laughs> I don't think that works. That looks gross though. Yeah, what is it? I think it's like an apple. You'd think apple, but that's what I thought apple. I don't think it is apple. We are now just by and pool, and we're gonna have a bit of sunbathing time. So, see you later, woman, nice and brown. Good morning. So, it's now what day even is it today? Is it Wednesday? So. It's Wednesday today and we are we just got ready as you can see and we are just about to head out to Ibiza Old Town because well it's luscious there so yeah we're just gonna have a nice little girls day in the sunshine eating lots of food and I'm very excited and very hungry and also we're getting the bus there because it's like a 30 euro taxi which is just ridiculously expensive so let's see how this goes wish us luck hopefully it goes better than the transfer to the hotel did I think they probably way more than Chloe does. <laughs> to be fair, it's really not hard. <laughs> How cute is this little supermarket? Why didn't we see this on the first day? Look at all the cute fruit. <gasps> Why are there like raspberries and there's like a chocolate cake next to it? So we have arrived in Ibiza Old Town. Let's go and walk to some food. So after walking around for about 20 hours, because Misha couldn't decide, slash Chloe couldn't decide, it was more my fault. We finally come to Wimilav. 
Um, yeah. Chloe's ordered, what did you order? Chicken skewers. Chicken skewers, skewers with chips. <laughs> She's such a basic English person. And I've ordered some I'm like... I'm not even English. Scottish, same difference. And I've ordered some like avocado smoothie thing, which I'm intrigued to try. And steak tart with padron peppers, that's the one. And I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Get me food. So our food's just arrived and OMG, look how good it looks. So we've got an avocado smoothie, we've got some breads, steak tart, padron peppers, potatoes, <laughs> and chicken. Mmm, that just looks so nice. But now we are now basically like in the castle. Yeah, we've, we've, we've come in to have a little explore. vlog game has not been on today but we got sorbet I got passion fruit Chloe got what did you get raspberry oh raspberry and we've now been sat by like the tower bit because we're in shape isn't it? yeah for probably about 45 <laughs> <laughs> 45 minutes an hour um, but it's really cute here and we've got a little singer somewhere down there serenading us and there was a really creepy man here who was cuckooing cooing to us pretending to be a bird it was really strange but yeah, we are going to Cafe Mambo for dinner tonight at 10 o'clock. So we have six hours. Let's hope we get hungry by then. Because <laughs> it's 70 euros minimum spend, which is a joke. But anyway. Yes. Thank you. So we just got... Oh, they look like my ones I've got my head right now. So me and Chloe got cute little matching Ibiza bracelets because we're really basic. <laughs> so let's watch this ceremony of Chloe putting us. Are you going to put it on with the VIP band? <laughs> yeah, the VIP. Wait, I, I might need you to not swing. Can I get it? Can you go? Oh, who are you? Relationship oh. goals. <laughs> I think it goes quite well. <laughs> the yellow. Yeah, it does. We are on the bus to go back yes. to San Antonio. I'm sad to leave a week at old time because San Antonio yes. just, just isn't as nice. But it's fine. And I need a nap because I'm so tired. <laughs> so, we are redressed. Woo. We are ready. And we are going out to Mambo's. So let's go. And hopefully, camera, you will be fine. Room. Good morning. So, well, actually, I think it's like afternoon by now. Yeah, it's five past twelve. Okay, it's five past twelve, but let's pretend it's the morning. We are here at the Skinny Kitchen, which is where we tried to come like twenty thousand times. There's also a bit of food on my lens. <laughs> Whoopsies. And yeah, we're here getting some late breakfast. Is that what you call it? Might as well have a lunch. Oh yeah, yours is lunch, mine's breakfast, so I'm excited for this. So I've got like a ginger and orange and I don't even know what was in it, but it tastes really good. And then Chloe's basics gone for an hour. Kind of looks like pea, I won't lie. Here we have power oats with coconut yogurt. Nachos, corn on the cob, sweet potato fries. <laughs> Two types of people in this world. <laughs> It may be like nine o'clock at night, but me and Chloe have got a full face of makeup on, so we're <laughs> gonna take some Instagram pictures. And look how cute this place looks at night. The pool looks so romantic. romantic. Oh, should we go for a romantic dinner? Yeah. <laughs> so we've made it down to the like port area, and we are back at the skinny kitchen, but a different one this time, and we're getting the dinner menu, so it doesn't. Okay, so I've got this like chicken thingy. And Chloe's got like a satay burger. I feel like they put the satay sauce on the side as well. Yeah. Oh wait, there's that spare for the fries. <laughs> it looks so good. Morning. Actually, it is still morning right now. What's That's quite impressive, impressive for us. <laughs> <laughs> we are leaving today, but we're just coming by the pool. And just like that, we are all packed up. And sadly going home. Well, no, actually, we're going for food first. And then we're getting a transfer at three o'clock. So, oh, it's blurry, but let's go. Where do you want to go? Can you run back and get the Yes. <laughs> We've just checked in, and now Chloe's feet are really hurting her. <laughs> so she's wearing socks and sandals. 
I think I look cool. <laughs> How cute is this place here? Look at the little bunter. But yeah, now we've got to go home. So I haven't vlogged uh -huh. anything in about five hours, but we arrived to England, we arrived into Birmingham, got the train, our train was an hour delayed and we had to wait 35 minutes for our luggage, yeah, that's mum came to pick problems. us up, I'm oh flipping starving, we arrived home and um, the key that mum had on our key thing is the wrong key, we even rang the doorbell for an hour and a half, it's like 2am and now we're at the kebab house and we have nowhere to go and we don't know what to do. And we I went want to, to the travel lodge, they fully booked, we went in. Premier Inns, Premier Inns, Holy Books, we went into whatever it's And some like dog. Do we know enough secrets, Kebab Show? Rock on, maybe in the morning and we might be homeless and we might have to sleep in. So I'm calling home, it's two o'clock in the morning. And I have now rang 33 times and 25 times, over 50 times, and that husband of mine is still asleep. So Misha is uh, matching the the welcome sign and the pictures. She's very orange. Misha, you matched. <laughs> okay. Honestly, don't know why we're laughing. It's not funny. We've got nowhere to go. We're gonna have to sleep in the car. Oh, Hell okay. So <laughs> we've ever thought that um, we? I hate my uh, dad. Hello, Chloe. That we're gonna. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so um, we are in the car, the engine is running at the moment and we're just about to go to sleep uh, because <laughs> I have now rang my husband about 90 times. <laughs> I have banged on the door for two hours oh and um, he can hear us and Misha is ready to go to sleep as you can see and I'm seriously not joking, we are in the car. So, you know, kind of wish us luck and um, Chloe is going back to at uh, home tomorrow, so she needs to get up at eight o'clock. So oh, um, she was going to take a taxi, but I have a seven. funny feeling that I'm going to be driving her <laughs> because I'm going to want to kill the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, sweet dreams, every night, everyone. Um, <laughs> if this vlog doesn't continue, we didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> It's not really brilliant, oh and I think I might be divorcing my husband at the end of this. So, nighty night. It's 6 a.m. And <laughs> we're still in the car. Shh, shh, shh. Mom, I'm still sleepy. Can we please, oh Mike? Okay, so it's 6 o'clock, and I've managed to wake my husband up. And um, Hello, we're now unpacking. Um, Go, it. woman. But Go and get them. in bed. Bye, Chloe. See you in an hour. <sighs> yeah, I didn't sleep a wink. And good morning. Well, good afternoon. So, if you didn't understand what happened yesterday, Mum came and picked us up from the train station. And, um, at like midnight, and we got back to the house, and the key on our, like, car keys for the house was like a fake house key, and it didn't work. And we had a house key, a spare one, but that had, that's gone, it's disappeared. So we were ringing our doorbell, ringing the home phone, smashing on the door, shouting up to the window to my dad who was fast asleep. Doing that for like an hour and a half, outside in the freezing cold. Oh my gosh, I wanted to cry. And then we were like, okay, let's go and check if Premier Inn has any availability. We checked at two different places, both of them were fully booked. So we were like, okay, I'm starving. Let's go to the kebab house. So we had some kebabs, came back, tried again. Then we're like, okay, we're just going to have to sleep in the car. By this point, it was 3 a.m. Eventually, at 7 a.m., Dad woke up when Mum rang the doorbell. And we came in. So, yeah, not exactly the most pleasant arrival into England. Also, I didn't. I know this vlog's really confusing and all over the shop, but basically, the day that I had that steak tartare that you guys would have seen, I managed to get really bad food poisoning, and I was throwing up for like two days and couldn't move from bed. But I still managed to, to kind of do stuff. I was literally dying. Oh my gosh, I never felt so ill in my life. 
So yeah, but we still had an amazing time. Sorry, I'm so yawning. Chloe also had to get a train at um, like 7 a.m. back to Scotland. So yeah, poor soul. I feel so bad for her. But yeah. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed this rather interesting Ibiza vlog. Definitely didn't go as planned, but nonetheless, at least it's a story to tell the grandkids. Bye guys.